Hello everybody, I'm Zelda Wolfgang, also known as Dimension Master 100, known as the Master of All Spellcasters. Well, since I just got through that pain in the ass of a list, now it's time for my top 5 best episodes. Yeah, I know, this list is small, but however, I only found a few good episodes through Season 8. So with that being said, let's start off with... The Kirin used to speak and sing, we weren't always quiet. We told stories and funny jokes, most and it was a riot. Spike, in my opinion, is by far the best supporting character of the show. He's also a pretty good voice of reason. No reviewer pun intended. And seeing him go through a huge change and finally getting his wings... But to be frank, this episode's more of a metaphor for puberty and the cruel things that go through it. No more talking, yelled our leader, the last thing said aloud. Into the stream of silence, we stepped as a crowd. The third Christmas special of the entire series, and it was great. Seeing each of the student six talk about their stories and their traditions gave them great character depth, especially Gallus, who has to be one of the most sympathetic characters of the show. Knowing this poor kid has no family to spend the holidays with, and the closest thing that he has to a family is his five other friends is really sad. And having the rest of the characters spend more time with him was just heartwarming, and an episode to look at during the holidays. And flaming red from head to head even burnt our bread. Sorry, I forgot how much I love rhyming. Where was I? Oh, right! Back then, I used to not like Princess Celestia. But after seeing episodes like Horseplay, I can say Celestia isn't that bad of a character, but Luna's still my fave. This episode also shows Celestia's cheerful side, plus her leadership side as well. And I gotta say, Nicole Oliver, the voice of Celestia, has done a fantastic job with this episode. The water cooled emotions, and peace was soon restored. But with no way to speak my thoughts, I got super bored. Seriously, there's only so long that Sudoku can keep you entertained. Originally, I was going to put this episode on my number one, but after thinking about it, I decided to put it at number two instead. But let's talk about why I love this episode. This episode had me dying of laughter. But what made me really love this episode was the moment between Yona and Rockhoof. When Yona explains why she relates to Rockhoof and why she looks up to him, and the moment Yona brought out that trowel was just so heartwarming. It reminded me of younger generations where they look up to someone they can relate to. Now before I do my number one pick, let me do my honorable mention. Honorable mention goes to What Lies Beneath, and now my number one pick. Cause we What more can I say about Sounds of Silence? It had two good characters work well with each other, it had an awesome new character, that being Autumn Blaze, and the Kieran Tale song is one of the best songs of the entire series of MLP. And not only that, but this episode is what Viva Las Pegasus should have been, and a really good lesson to top it all off. So that was my top 5 best episodes of MLP Season 8. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Sometimes you go